Welcome back to my channel guys. So today we got a real sweet one for you. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. But before we get to that, I do have to say something. So I have a huge problem. I have so much stuff, more than what's sitting right here that I've been meaning to do videos on and do reviews on. So much stuff. A lot of it is all gaming stuff or Raspberry Pi related stuff. Tons of cool items. And I am gonna get around to doing videos and all these things. But everything that I have right here, for example, plus a few others, when I do reviews on them, when I do videos on them, I am going to be giving the products away. So for example, this gem box, with I, which I've been sitting on for a couple weeks now, nice little Android uh, emulation gaming system. Boom, I'm gonna do a video on that, give it away. These uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Model B Plus kits, pretty cool stuff. Comes with everything you need to get set up on a Raspberry Pi system. Gonna be doing reviews and giving them away. Some Raspberry Pi cases, interesting stuff. We're gonna be giving those away too. A bunch of things, controllers, all sorts of stuff. So, what I wanted to get at with that is, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, make love to that notification bell. That way you know when these videos go up and you can figure out and find out how you can win all this stuff. Because, um, uh, seriously, there is too many products in my garage right now. And after I do these videos, I just need to get rid of them. So going to try to give back to you guys the best I can. But today what we are talking about is this little fella right here. The Argon One. The most versatile Raspberry Pi computing system known to man. So this is currently on Kickstarter. And some people on my Facebook group were talking about it. They were like, hey, look at this case. It looks pretty interesting. Uh, you know, it's got a lot of cool things going for it. And we're going to take a look at that in a moment here. And I was like, you know what, that, that looks pretty neat. I'm not familiar with this Kickstarter. So I checked out the Kickstarter and yes, I hit up the company. I said, hey, is there any way I can get, you know, a review unit? And you know, I really don't ask for that kind of stuff too often. Typically, I, I very rarely ever, I usually buy everything. But this time I was like, you know what, let me, let me see. This thing looks pretty awesome. And uh, maybe, you know, give a little boost to their Kickstarter because it's actually a reasonably priced case. It's $15. Um, and for everything that it does, I think that might be worth it. So it came to me this way, but before we do everything with this right now, um, this is a pre-production model. I was pre-told that, hey, it's a pre-production model. The final versions that go to backers, people who uh, buy these, their versions are gonna be slightly different. The fit, everything's gonna be, you know, perfect. The uh, finish, everything. This was just kind of a, an early version of it, I guess, but with pretty much everything going for it that the final ones are gonna have, so why not? Argon One from Argon 40. They do a lot of cool stuff, so let's peep it out real quick. So in the box, what it comes with is the case here. You can back to get a, uh, a Raspberry Pi as well. Um, and I believe like the price for that's like $50 or something. So it's, uh, you're just paying for the Raspberry Pi. You can always get one on your own, or if you already have one, that's fine. They're not profiting off of the Raspberry Pi if you go that way. I mean, they are probably because they're wholesale, you know, type stuff. But what I'm saying is, is they're, they're not profiting off of it more so than what normally the price would be. So here's the case. It comes like this. Mine's a little rough, like I said, um, but it, comes with you know several pieces to be honest here so we get the top half we'll take a closer look at that in a second we get the little special board we'll take that out and then you do get some screws and it looks like a heat pad or something in there um, this does work with both the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 and the Pi 3b plus now the case itself is an actual big heat sink. So as you see here, this part touches the CPU. You'd probably use a little heat pad or put a little uh, thermal paste on there uh, before putting it together, but we're not going to mess with that at the moment. It does have a fan built in. One of the biggest things is, is it does have a safe power button, um, and there is a script for that as well. Pretty cool stuff. It has their board uh, GPIO connector, and I'll show you what that is actually for in a moment. So there's all that. The top 
actually has a magnetic little hidden compartment here for GPIO. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping you can see that. So awesome, you know, for your special projects that you're working on and doing, you have access to the GPIO. So this is like an external connection, like this taps into the GPIO off of the Raspberry Pi from connecting it to this connector and then transfers that over here to have a more sleeker design where everything's kind of in places where you would hope they would be, like having the power button um, and you know the power supply, HDMI, everything on the back with the USBs, all the ports on one side essentially. But I think that's pretty neat that they're color coded um, and they're marked for everything what all the GPIO pins are. So your five volt, your three volt, all your grounds. And then they are color coded properly. Definitely makes working on projects a heck of a lot easier. Pretty sweet stuff. The bottom of the case, um, mine, from what I saw on their, their uh, Kickstarter, it was a different color. But like I said, this is a pre-production model. So I'm, I'm not nitpicking on anything specific, but I'm just pointing out there may be some differences on the final version as far as the color of the bottom base goes. I don't know if they're going to stick with black. I think um, on the Kickstarter, it looks like pretty similar color to the actual case there. Uh, all metal case. Like I said, it's just a big heat sink, essentially. So tons of ventilation is um, one of the big things. So you, you have ventilation on the sides. Bam. Nicely cut out. Uh, and also on the bottom, you have a couple sides there with some slits. And then the other cool thing is there's a little bit of ventilation here where the GPIO is. And then once you put that back on, there are slits here to allow some airflow. You do have to remember there is that fan in there. So that works out pretty nicely. So putting this together, they do have a little video tutorial, a very short tutorial saying, hey, this only takes four steps to put together. And I, I think that's a, a little bit false because um, what I found with this is on their video, they show just plugging this in their little board that kind of gets everything going, plugging that into the uh, 3.5 millimeter and the HDMI jack just kind of popping it in place. Um, you may have to fidget with that a little bit to, to get it set. And then they, in their video, they just lined everything up and, and kind of dropped it in. Um, but you really have to pay attention to the GPIO because you are plugging that in here and you don't want to bend these pins. Um, but the, the, you know, they showed just that, like, okay, you put that step one, boom, put that in step, step two, um, attach attach the uh the 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 board there the gpio and it does slide in fairly decently you know fairly easily anyway but i did kind of not line it up to get this other board in there you want to kind of slide that in as you're doing that and then line up the gpio so i'm already kind of kind of messing it up but there we go everything's everything's in there and lined up to where you have access but the only the only issue is is then this this additional board because the next step they show is just putting this bottom piece on and then screwing in the you know the base and then everything's just good to go um but when you do that this piece right here just kind of misaligns it's just kind of as you see it's 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 a little loose it'll move around and the the slots don't line up properly if you just do it that way. So I'm assuming maybe this was a change down the road after they filmed that, that quick little tutorial. Um, but there are three post holes here. There's one there, one there, one there for this specific board. So you would want to screw that in. And they do give you a bunch of screws. So I'm, I'm pretty sure um, they're going to edit that or provide some kind of documentation on you know, what you actually have to do. Mine did not come with any kind of written instructions. I did receive the script that you have to install um, for the, the power, for the power button to work properly because you do need to have a script installed um, in order for a power or reset button to work perfectly. So especially, you know, you're using this for RetroPie or anything else, you want that power that power button to function the way you would imagine it would. 
So getting this board screwed down, like I said, it's just those three screws and they are the meteor screws um, that came in this pack. The other ones are too long and too thin. So it's not really, it's, it's not easy to get them mixed up. Um, definitely not easy. Everything just kind of fits the way you would hope it would. And then upon further inspection, there is a post hole right here um, for the Raspberry Pi on this case that you would want to screw in because once you put the bottom in, it doesn't, um, there is no hole there to, to screw, but there is a post there. So we, we might as well get that screwed in. Um, but besides that, you don't have to screw anything else in once those screws are in there and everything's mounted properly. Um, from there, what you would do is simply just attach the bottom and then with your, your remaining longer screws, screw the, uh, the case together. I'm just going to do a couple of them real quick. And then bam, everything is put together, ready to go. Like I said, I'm just leaving those other two screws out because I'm gonna be doing some other stuff with this. But that's pretty much it. The only other thing I wanna test is how easy it is to insert and remove a micro SD card. We're gonna do another uh, short video on this uh, within the next couple days, just seeing you know the temperatures and whatnot. We'll do a little thermal test on this and I'm gonna do that in a separate video. Uh, by itself. So let's get a memory card and test that out. Okay, so here we go. Memory card slots on the, the bottom here. All your ports are on the back, so that works great. Power button right there. And let's see. Inserts. Remove. Pretty, pretty easy. I mean, there's plenty of space there, as you can see, to remove it, you know, it's not, I'm not even using my fingernail, I'm just kind of sliding it and then grabbing it. So not too bad. Um, I mean, that's always something important to me, you know, cause some it's like, even if you have a fingernail, you can't get it out. You have to use like tweezers or something, but this it's cut out well enough to insert and remove a micro SD card perfectly fine. So I really do dig this so far. Um, the ventilation looks great all the, the slots we have there, all the ports being on the back, that means the world to me because then yes, it just it has that more like, a, like legit look, like it's a mini PC that you can use for a lot of things and it doesn't have cords coming out of it, octopusing all over the place. So definitely pretty sweet stuff. So thumbs up if you can especially if you want to see the thermal tests and a couple more little tests with this case. Uh, that'll be a pretty short video. Just want to showcase this right now, get it out there for you guys. Um, but yeah, smash that like button, subscribe, slap that notification bell around, do all that cool stuff. Follow me on Twitter. We're also going to do some giveaways there. So might as well jump aboard if you are on Twitter. If not, it's all good guys. But with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Link in the description if you want to peep this out, and boom!